Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to J Speak. This week we go over one question. It was a direct question and I, I, I liked it and I really didn't do any wrap ups of 2020. Gear that I picked up in 2020 not necessarily came out because all the gear that was kind of like released in damn or throughout the year still isn't even really shipping yet because there, there's a couple mentions of things that I want to get I haven't gotten because they're not really out publicly yet. I bought a lot of pedals this year. First, I'll mention Walrus Audio. Um, they came out with some very cool pedals this year, but I, I think my favorite of all of them that I did pick up is the Ages. This is a sweet, sweet overdrive. I like the color. It's like this army green. I dig the mammoth, and I was hoping for like Halloween they would have done like a zombie mammoth, but that didn't happen. Walrus, if you're listening, that would be super cool. I really like it on mode four. It reminds me of my Freeman Dirty Shirley. And I've been wanting to run like my Fender Twin with the ages and then in stereo out to my Freeman Dirty Shirley just to see what, <laughs> see how close they are because it sounds so similar to me. I, I just kind of wanted to experiment. Haven't done it yet, but very cool pedal. Another sweet Walrus pedal that came out this year that I picked up, D1. Now this is the first of many, maybe? In the Mako series, I guess their idea is to take like a big box and squish it down into a small box. So you got MIDI capability, you've got stereo recall presets, but it's got a bunch of really cool delay sounds on it and it's compact, it fits on your board well. You know, doing the whole preset thing, much like the Echoes or even the Volante by Strumming, it's a different way than what we were trained on doing and how to recall them, but it is a great delay. Um, will it replace your timeline? Eh, it didn't replace mine, but it's a sweet delay. Works awesome in the FX loop. Now, I picked up the Julia, this limited edition version, uh, at the beginning of the year, but then Walrus went and did this, the Juliana. This is this is an awesome pedal, and honestly, I, I'm kind of on the fence if I want to sell this one because it just sounds so good. The Juliana can do everything the Julia does, but with some added features. There's an extra wave shape. It's got more of the silent switching. And it runs in stereo. And you know what? A chorus in stereo is one of the more lovely effects I think I've ever heard. Definitely check that out, but you can also check this one out too. Another Walrus pedal that I picked up this year that is not necessarily, it's not a new release, but it was new to me, ARP87. Now this is a limited edition one uh, with cool spaceman artwork. Very cool pedal, really solid delay. You know, I, I've got a lot of the big box stuff. You know, something with the big box stuff that I love, I love Strymon, but there's always like something else going on in a Strymon effect that's beyond just delay. I like to use other reverb and delay pedals because they're easy to dial in and they sound really good and this is one of them this is a fantastic delay again if you haven't checked out walrus check them out a pedal company that i discovered this year that i picked up and was totally blown away by its sounds maris so this is the mercury 7 it can compete against like uh, the, the strymon stuff or even tide but this is a super cool reverb has a couple different effects on here like a an ultra plate and a cathedral big hall sound. Uh, super cool, kind of a different funky shape, but sounds awesome, man. Uh, if you haven't checked out Maris, they also have the Poly Moon, but these are these are made in LA and they're, they're super cool. The Strymon Night Sky, this is phenomenal. And actually I just started messing with the sequencer a lot on this pedal. I think I came up with some cool sounds, so I might, uh, might do something fun there with one of the In The Mix videos, but this is a, an amazing reverb pedal sequencer. It does so much and it's really simple to use and there's no screens. You do have favorites, which it's kind of like the new way that Strymon was doing things with the Volante. Amazing pedal. A little more experimentation with your reverb. This is it. I did pick up a couple other pedals that I really like. The brand new release is the Keeley Echos. This is a sweet, sweet delay. Ironically, throughout the year, I think I used it in a couple demos, but I never really got around to making a full demo of the pedal, which is, is kind of sad, but you know, when COVID went into lockdown and everything happened, I, I didn't have time. As I've said a few times, uh, demos, I kind of work a couple months in advance just to kind of keep things straight with a job and a family and blah, blah, blah. So I haven't gotten around to making a official demo with this pedal but i'm getting to it the modulation on this pedal is a flanger not a chorus and i love that i love flanger so that's super cool if they ever added in like a phaser to a delay i would be all in 
Very cool pedal. A pedal that was new to me, but not necessarily a new release, is MXR Script 45. This is a sweet, sweet phaser. I actually use this one a lot. Runs on a battery only, no nine volt adapter. It's just a great sounding phaser. I prefer this over the 90, honestly, and awesome. Moving to guitars. I got really into Freeman the last couple of years and like Telecasters. This one I actually purchased in January and it's fantastic. I call this one Big Red. It's got this beautiful flame maple neck, a rosewood fingerboard, two of the classic humbuckers, simple deluxe setup to volume two tone. The guitar is a couple years old, but it, it's a fantastic guitar. I, I love this guitar. Freeman just makes some amazing Telecasters and the strats are sweet too, but this this is uh, probably one of my go-tos, but yeah, um, amazing guitar. Also new to me, uh, the Two Notes Captor. Uh, it's a great little box. Um, I, I love the through option, the attenuator, and the way to silent record. That's an amazing product. Again, not not new as far as release, but new to me this year. I don't I don't think I got any new amps this year, honestly. I think one of the last heads I bought was the Mesa Mark 525. That was over a year ago. I think that was November-ish, like on a Black Friday thing from <laughs> Chicago Music Exchange. But yeah, and that's that's kind of when I picked up a lot of the, the other Friedman guitars was the end of 2019. So I really got to know them in 2020. Again, they're fantastic guitars. I, I do have um, the Keeley Hydra is inbound. It is a stereo reverb and tremolo, and I had a Flint and I sold the Flint because I had the big sky and... All right, so honorable mentions, things that came out in 2020 that I have not had a chance to pick up that I'm totally interested in. Freeman Twin Sister, which is a beefed up two channel Dirty Shirley, which I love that amp. You know, speaking of Freemans, I've also seen some really sweet Telecasters they've come out with. Sweetwater's got a couple like, solid wood tops and things like that. And I've also seen like Graffiti Yellow. <laughs> Freeman also released the, the 212 Vertical cabs which I'd love to check out and haven't. What I'm really interested in that I haven't been able to get my hands on is the American Professional Series 2 by Fender. That dark night color, oh, and Mercury looks awesome. It's like a silver bursty type. I'd love to check out the standard Telecaster. I'd love to check out the Telecaster Deluxe and I'd love to check out the Jazzmaster. You know, they kind of made some improvements on the bridge. It's a different vibrato. Really want to check one of those out. Rosewood and maple options of both and different colors on both. So deciding which of those I'd like to pick up. If you have any of those pieces of gear, you know, let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear what you think. What did you get in 2020 that you thought was just amazing? Whether it was new to you or brand new product that you picked up. I'd love to hear from you. Leave your questions and comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.